Hi, I want to do a quick video of um, the Teptonic, um, I guess, nail substitutes. They come in this package. But before you put them on, there is this chart with seven different shapes of your nails. And you measure the width and diameter of your nails. And within each nail set, which is your thumb, your index, your middle, ring, and even pinky, if you use that. Um, you measure the different seven shapes, if you want them long, if you want them rounded. And it comes with a little bit of a, it's a nail file that you can file a little bit more. And you don't really need any nails, because what these things have, supposedly they're reusable. I don't really know how much they're going to really be reusable. There is a little plastic thing where you peel it off, and there's a glue on that, and then you paste that on there. So you have to measure your nails first, and I did measure this. And so I got a pretty good approximation of that. So let's hear how the tone sounds on a classical on my steel string, and then I'll probably use my telly to end with to see how it sounds off the jazz kind of stuff that I play. So, let's start off with the classical. So, take a look at what they look like, and these yellow things are for the size of it. Once you order it, it kind of saves um, the sizes that you've ordered. You can kind of change it on the side, change it on the side itself, and then um, that way you can reorder them. So. See how they sound, and I'll talk about the pros and cons about them afterwards.
liked and what I didn't like about him. Um, the easiest guitar to play with him on was actually the Tele. The classical tone, I don't think it's that great, but it's acceptable. Um, I don't think you're going to be playing Carnegie Hall or any, anything um, like that. Um, the steel string playing is also very good. So one thing I'm shocked about is that these things actually stay on with the glue. Um, I don't know if they sell something like reusable glue. They said you can use it for um, multiple times, but um, I keep having to press them down to keep, hold them on. And I do have a little bit of nails, but pretty much what you heard was what the tone of this thing can do. So it's a pretty good um, alternative if you don't have any nails or if you can't grow nails. It's actually a pretty good alternative to even Alaska picks. They are a little bit natural. They'll take some getting used to, and I'm sure the more I play with them, the better I'll get in terms of my tone and control. It's really about accuracy and um, really good tone out of these things. So I think it's a pretty good product. It's a the right start, let's put it that way. Probably it needs to be tweaked a little bit. All right, thank you.